Why do we celebrate the anniversary of an assassination? Fifteen years ago, in the middle of a plague that nearly destroyed Dunwall, a paid killer assaulted the palace where I was born and stabbed my mother in the heart. In the aftermath, the men who sent the assassin tried to use me as a pawn in a game of power. They would have succeeded, but my father, Corvo Atano, hunted them down and cut their conspiracy to pieces. All these years later, am I the ruler my mother wanted me to be? Now, we face a new crisis. A monster the papers are calling the Crown Killer has been picking off my enemies and dressing it up like my father and I are responsible. I don't know whether to get on a ship and sail to the opposite side of the world, or to have everyone around me executed. Watch your step, Majesty. I'm not looking forward to all the ceremony today. Your signet ring. There. You're ready. Thank you, Alexei. Open the doors. All hail Her Imperial Majesty, Emily Caldwin. Loyal subjects, we're going through a difficult time, but today we honor my mother, the late Jessamine Caldwin. May her memory survive through the ages. Emily. You look tired, Father. Every year, I think the anniversary of Jessamine's death will be easier, but it never is. I wish Mother was still the Empress. I don't think I'm very good at this. You're still learning. Don't worry about the rabble-rousers, and we'll catch the Crown Killer. Eventually. People are saying it's you. That these assassinations are a misguided effort to protect me. No. Someone's trying to make us look guilty by targeting your enemies. I wish I could just run away from all this. Sometimes you do. You think I don't know about your nights out on the rooftops? Courage. The ceremony will be over soon. Royal protector and father. I should have passed a law against that combination of titles years ago. Majesty, before we begin the day's observances, we have an unexpected visitor, the Duke of Serkonos. Ramsey says the Duke is bringing special gifts. That's intriguing. His Grace Luca Abel, Duke of Serkonos! Mechanical soldiers? Amazing. What is this, Ramsey? I didn't authorize those things. Your Imperial Majesty and Royal Protector Corvo Atano, a native of our homeland. Sarconis offers condolences on this sorrowful day and gifts to remind you of our nation, the rising star on the southern horizon. We thank you, Your Grace. Save your thanks, for now I give you the greatest gift of all, family. I present the lost sister of Jessamine Caldwin, your rightful Empress. Delilah Caldwin. Impossible. My mother had a sister? My dearest niece. Hello. It's not true. My father was Emperor Yuhorn Jacob Caldwin, and Jessamine was my younger sister. At the time of her death, I wasn't ready to make myself known to you, and I was forced to leave Dunwall. But now I'm home. If you really are my mother's sister, you're welcome to stay as long as you like. Little Sparrow, blackened by bad memories, I'm here to relieve you of your crown. My father's promise, whispered in secret so many years ago, is now fulfilled. Watch your tongue. Emily Caldwin is the daughter of Empress Jessamine Caldwin. Royal Protector, how naive to think you could get away with these murders. Living in my palace has protected you, but that's over. Hear me, all of you. 
Your rightful Empress has returned. All hail the Empress Delilah. First of her name. Arrest Emily Caldwin and her father for the Crown Killer murder. What? Kept out of trouble. I'll lock Lady Emily in her chambers, then I'll bring her to cold <gasps> prison until her trial. My father lost it all when I was a boy, so now I wear this uniform, and I send 20-year-olds out to patrol the Rose Gardens instead of drinking with the men from the shooting club. Captain Ramsey, I heard shouting. Lady Emily, what happened? That'll be all, Captain Mayhew. Fancy weapon. What kind of sword folds in half? There's a legend in the Tower Guard about the Empress's last resort, a safe room inside your chambers holding enough gold to buy a good-sized island. They say that this ring is one of the only two keys to exist. What, what happened? Alexei. The throne room. Father. Nothing I can do alone. I need to get out of here. I used to hide frogs in this old grandfather clock to drive the housekeepers mad. I thought life was complicated back then. Should I just spin it and pick a place to hide for a while? I need time to think. I still got to meet one. But then if I need it, no. These bastards are working with Ramsay and the Duke of Circonos. Royal Protector! There's a coup underway. My father is... he's imprisoned, for lack of a better word. You've got to get out of the tower, through your safe room. There was a captain earlier today, down at the docks, looking for the royal protector. Find her. Get out of Dunwall. Alexei, I'm sorry. Goodbye. killer must be connected to all this with the Duke and Delilah. I have a feeling I'll need these. The reserves won't help against Delilah, even if I had a way to carry it all out of here.
Now you've got what you wanted, Ramsay. The Imperial suite atop Dunwall Tower. Stay put until this is all set straight, Ramsay. Enjoy the rations and well water, sleeping next to a fortune. Until I understand this, I have to go into hiding. I Armed assholes and get into the tower myself. Lady Emily, you won't get far with that face. Stamped on half the coins in the city. There's a coup underway and I'm being blamed for the Crown Killer murders. I don't care what my face looks like. My name's Megan Foster. I work with an old ally of yours, Anton Sokolov. We learned something scary down in the south. And I came to warn you. I know, Anton. But Corvo's gone. The Duke of Sirkonos is here with a woman named Delilah. They massacred everyone in the throne room. Then she did something I can't explain. There was nothing to do but run. Sometimes that's all you can do. This is my ship, the Dreadful Whale. We can head out as soon as you're ready. I need to get to Karnaka where the Crown Killer murders started. Delilah must have been down there for a while and I've got to figure out what's going on. You're Corvo's daughter. I'll give you that. Should we go? Yes, I'm ready. Em Empress Emily Caldwin. I'm a friend of your father's from the bad old days. expected us to meet. I watched your mother die at the hands of schemers who wanted your little empire. Then you were rescued by a killer in a strange mask. I thought that was the end of the excitement. But Delilah and the Duke are flies in the ointment, aren't they? How many of your own subjects are you ready to slaughter? And what are you willing to become? Fifteen years ago, I asked Corvo that last question. This is the moment that changed him. Now it's your turn, Emily. It burns from the inside. I feel like I'm standing at the edge of something. What is that? It feels familiar. I know you. Do you remember? It's been so long, and you've been through so much. Even as an echo of myself, it's good to know you're there. Mother? You're here, but you're not here. In my hand, but somewhere else. Only the last of my essence with you for a while. If only I could reach across this great expanse and take you into my arms. But I have this to offer. My gift and my curse. Summon me to your hand, and I will guide you when I can. Who is Delilah, really? How could she? I don't understand. Delilah slid a man's throat for a pair of shoes and painted some of the most brilliant portraits of the age all in the same year. Survival and ambition, art and magic, with a cunning that makes sycophants of those around her. All of it leading to what you saw at Dunwall Tower. Delilah's playing the long game, and now she's an empress. But I'll let you in on a secret. She's got her eyes set on a much greater prize. When I was ten years old, 
bored with my lessons. I dreamed about sword fighting and sailing the ocean. Now I'm realizing that the world is more off-kilter than I imagined. Everything has been turned inside out. But I'm not gonna stop fighting until it makes sense again. Karnaka is the southernmost port in the Empire. Once proud, but fallen into disarray. Under the new Duke, the Grand Sirkonan Guard has gotten increasingly oppressive. Beatings and firing squads. The Bloodflies are said to be worse than ever. This is the birthplace of my father. Megan Foster keeps to herself, like she's hiding something. But she helped me escape Dunwall, and for now, I need a place to stay out of sight. Delilah and the Duke made me look like a murderer, using the Crown Killer to butcher my political adversaries. They took what was mine, and I'm gonna get it back, even if I have to burn this city to the ground. When you're ready to talk, I'll tell you what I know. All right. You've explained part of it. But what were you and Sokolov doing here? The old man loved Karnaka, but he'd caught wind of a conspiracy tied to the Crown Killer. He wanted to warn Corvo. There are reports about tensions rising. Corruption. Street violence. I... Didn't give it much mind. Usually the local authorities resolve that sort of thing. <sighs> the new Duke has let things slide. But Sokolov concluded he might be the head of the conspiracy. He came in looking shocked, and if you've heard his after-dinner stories, you know that's unusual. We were going to set out for Dunwall, but something happened. The Crown Killer. Yes, the hatch ripped open and Sokolov screamed. All I caught was a glimpse of someone carrying him across the deck. I followed as long as I could, toward Adermeyer Institute. It's run by the alchemist Hypatia. Maybe the Duke is using a patient of hers. The Crown Killer. Adermeyer. All right. I'll get inside. The Crown Killer has to be eliminated, and if the alchemist will cooperate, maybe I can learn something about what happened to Sokolov. Wish me luck. If you need my luck, Sokolov's as good as dead. When you get done at the Institute, disable the Watchtower. Once it's down, I'll bring the boat around. We'll take the skiff to the shore when you're ready. Ready for me to drop you at the docks? Let's go see the streets where my father grew up. Off we go then. It won't do to be recognized. Take you to Adamire by boat, but security's too tight. The Grand Guard have a watchtower there. Go inland and use the carriage station. Before his death, the old Duke of Sirkono spent decades building up Karnaka. After Duke Luca Bell took over, he started draining the wealth out of the city as fast as he could. Orgies and week-long feasts having more fun here than we were in Dunwall, it seems. Watch yourself on the way to Ademar. The Duke's given the Grand Guard run of the city. Strangers get attacked on sight. I'll keep my head down. This is a good spot. Reach Ademar, take out the Crown Killer, and find out where Sokolov was taken. The Alchemist, Hypatia. She'll help if she can. Sokolov likes her. I'll see you later at Adermeyer. Just wait to bring up the boat until after I've disabled the watchtower. Welcome to Karnaka, stranger. No need to cover your face. There's not much dust from the mines down here at the docks. And who you can be. 
something that might interest you. My name's Mindy Blanchard, and you look like someone who goes into places where you don't belong. Wanna help me with something? You scratch my ass, I'll scratch yours. I need to get to Adermeyer Institute. Can you help me with that? Yeah, I know how to do that. You go get a body for me, and I'll help you with your problem. Don't worry, he's already dead. A body? That's odd. From where? The overseers are holding him at their outpost. They think he was a kind of a witch. I want the body for reasons of my own. Sneak in and take it. Then meet me in the old basement below the dentist office near there. I'll think about it. This is a rat. I told you what would happen if you reported me. I warned you. Please, you gave me no choice. Please? It's too late for that, Rapallo. Guess what happens next? No! This is how we get rid of snitches. Remember, if anyone asks, he just ran through it. Yeah, we couldn't stop him. Huh? Hey, is the windmill turning all right up there? No problems? Don't worry, it's turning. Plenty of electricity. Good. I like this setup better than using the well oil tanks. The wind won't run dry. There's a thief around. Unless something happens to the windmill. These break down just as often in a different way. And they also overcharge sometimes. I've seen cities go bad before. Smell the rot. So have you. Fifteen years ago in Dunwall. Did you miss it? That year that made you who you are? Don't deny it. Rats in the cradle, black smoke rising from burning bodies, an entire city crying out. Now it's happening again. Welcome back. Welcome home. People like you and the Crown Killer are a part of places like this. Good job. Take this. I won't ask you why you needed that. So how do I get to Adermeyer? I just sent one of my boys to turn off the power to the carriage rails. When the juice is off, you can walk along the rails and get where you need to go. On the other side, there's a station that will take you to Adermeyer. Better than nothing. Thanks for your help. Adermeyer More station. Grand Guard soldiers. Lapdogs for the Duke. Kidding? It's all Howlers. So don't wear your uniform.
The Adermeyer Institute of Infectious Disease. Alexandria Hypatia, chief alchemist. Once it was a solarium for pampered aristocrats recuperating from their imagined ills. Now it's a place of alchemical study. The crown killers taking lives in my name, which is about to end. They say Dr. Hypatia's brilliant, but if she's involved with the murders, she's going to pay. Remember that. Yes, Sir, yes, yes. it's just that the other night she went no. missing, and I still don't see how she got out. I do want to clear on this court. In case anyone asks, the good doctor never leaves the ground. Cretan. Can we leave this place yet? I don't like it. Ready now? Yes. Let's get back to the ship. They didn't find Sokolov. No. But I killed Hypatia. You what? She was the crown killer. The Duke tricked her into injecting herself with a flawed version of her serum. It changed her. She wasn't even aware of it. Crazy. What about Anton? They gave him to a man named Kieran Jindosh. Do you know who that is? Everybody knows him. The grand inventor of Sir Konos. Then who's next? day, Sokolov was Dunwall's genius. He transformed our city with his inventions. Electricity for the factories and carriages racing along above the streets. As I grew up, his buzzing and glowing devices kept me safe. His stories always made me giggle, and his outrageous conversation shocked aristocrats and overseers alike. Now, all these years later, Kieran Jindosh is Karnaka's genius. A mad inventor who has given the Duke sinister machines that move like people but aren't. Clockwork soldiers that fight and kill. We've got to find out where Sokolov's being held and bring the old man back alive. Rescue one genius and cage the other before he creates an army of clockwork soldiers. Everybody's got secrets, I guess. Maybe mine are worse than most. It 
it's time to go get Sokolov. Jindosh is important to the Duke's inner circle. The Grand Guard watches his mansion, and they'll call down the entire city if they find out who you are. I'll make sure they don't. You said there's a wall of light cutting off access to the carriage station? Yes. But there's a black market shop nearby. They sell on the sly. Ever use a rewiring tool? Corvo taught me the theory. Good. Get past the wall of light, then ride the carriage to where Jindosh lives. And there's a reason people are afraid of his mansion. I'll get it done. Emily, take care of this crazy man and his clockwork soldiers, then bring Sokolov back. He means a lot to me. Jindosh's mansion from here. The carriage line is blocked. I'll have to unlock the gate.
The mansion has a strange beauty to it. Maybe I'll find a way to end this without killing Kirin Jindosh. All right, I need to eliminate Jindosh and find Anton Sokolov. Who would build something like this? And why? Jindosh. My home is always open. It's one of my great curiosities seeing how the common mind navigates these shifting rooms. I'm Karen Jindosh, but you must know that. I invite you to continue, stranger. Just come up the stairs. Meet with me face to face in the upper hall. See you, I've worked out who you are. Not a hired cutthroat, your clothes are too fine. An aristocratic thrill seeker? That's closer. You've trained with weapons formally, but you're not a salon fencer. There's a bit of back alley in your movements. All that, and you have your father's eyes, your imperial majesty. Welcome, Lady Emily Caldwin. Impressive, Jindosh. Then you must also know why I'm here. I'd assume my involvement with the Duke brought you to my door. Or maybe you're after washed-up Anton Sokolov, comfortably residing in the assessment chamber. Either way, come find me and take whatever it is you seek. But if you fall, I'll have your body carried to my lab for dissection and study. Until either comes to pass, your secret is safe with me. I'll see you soon, Jindosh. Until then. Clockwork soldiers, there's an interloper in my home. Before you stands an invasion that will endure beyond my time. The Jindosh Clockwork Soldier. Marvel at the Clockwork Soldier's heart, the metallic skeleton. In part, I made this place for luxury and spectacle, I suppose, but it's more than that. This place is a testament to engineering itself. Ah, the space behind the walls. Ah, you've managed to deactivate my wall of light. is this? With this machine, maybe you won't have to die after all, Jindosh. Sounds like someone's in the building. Should we wake the clockwork? It'll wake up on its own if a fight breaks out. They're blind, but they can still hear. Creepy to know they might be listening to us. Can they understand what we're saying? No. No more than an audiograph machine can. Oh. up the arc pylon.
supplies are great. It's very impressive that you survived Delilah and made it down here to Karnaka, all without the aid of your infamous father. to take you out of here. Jendosh has bigger plans than you know. An army of his clockwork soldiers. It would be the end. I'm going to visit Jindosh too, old friend. <laughs> oh, you've taken Sokolov. Now what? You'll be safer in the carriage, Sokolov. Then... I owe Jindosh a visit. My best for detect entering the combat machine state. has lost its quarry. Playback, playback indicates lost enemy. Playback for combat protocols. Playback it's for hatched. unambiguous enemy. Increasing our perception. Hmm, another clockwork down. Each of those costs a princely sum, I assure you. They're too good at destroying my masterpieces. Each one costs a fortune, you know. Okay, at least Anton is safe. Now, for Jindosh. I suppose Sokolov is now safe and sound. And yet here you are again, back from war.
of detection state. At last, Imperial Majesty. Do you realize you're only the second person to set foot in this room, the most sophisticated laboratory in the island? Please, try not to damage anything as you die. Clockwork soldiers, dispatch this intruder! Know that your last moments, the last vision you behold, is a work of scintillating industry. The very pinnacle of invention. Each new visitor is another test for the clockwork soldiers. Each makes them better. In the end. Combat protocol eight. Detached. Ah, can't you do your jobs and protect me, you idiots? I'll never understand what Sokolov sees in small minds like yours. Cut! Kieran Jindosh. Does anyone know the answer? Did it. How is he? He's frail and wounded, but he'll recover. I didn't think it was possible. You must have a story to tell. I'll hear it back at the ship. Let's go. Then. somehow different this time. Surprised I can pull you into this place? The outsider marked me long ago. I made you flee your precious tower and turned your father into cold stone. 
somehow difficult for you. But when I was young, sweet Jessamine and I were closest sisters, sharing a secret. Emperor Caldwin had another daughter, born in shame to a kitchen maid. Am I dreaming? If not, how is Delilah doing this? go back to the servants' quarters to cockroaches and thin gruel. Emperor Daddy would visit and tell me if I was good. Next year, I'd be old enough to come to court to be a princess. Then one day, pretty Jessamine broke something worth a fortune, and the spy master caught us. She claimed I did it, and he whipped me in the garden house until I bled. My mother lost her kitchen job, and that night we were out on the streets with no place to sleep. I didn't break it. Would you like to tell me the name? We were just playing. Memory and Jessica. What's your name? It was her. Delilah's life. She broke it. parts of Dunwall, ending up in debtor's prison. Jessamine died quick on an assassin's blade, but my mother lingered for weeks after a fat guard broke her jaw. They threw me out when she died. I looked up at the lights of Dunwall Tower and swore revenge. Washing bedsheets in a brothel, I painted on the side, until Anton Sokolov took me as a student. That's the polite word for I was crafty even before the outsider marked me, and survived the worst the Empire could offer. Now, it's your turn. My mother's sick. She needs help. Your mother kicked off while you were out begging. She's another bag of bones now, girl. What? No! Your sentence is served and she'll be tossed out with the others. You can't stay here anymore. to know whether my dear old aunt is telling the truth or not. When I was young, the loyalist conspiracy that kidnapped me also took Anton Sokolov. They brought him to the pub where I was being held and locked him in a cage meant for dogs. And you know what? Sokolov laughed at them. He taught me lessons and told me funny stories. He seemed immortal. His mind shaped our age. That's changed. The old man I rescued he doesn't talk much. He eats what we give him, groans in his sleep, coughs out blood. I thought he'd tell me the secret to defeating Delilah and saving the Empire. But I'm not even sure he knows where he is. dream, was it? Am, Am I to blame, blame for Delilah's bitterness? No. She's the one who orchestrated the coup. Our, Our decisions, decisions have weight. And I feel my time drawing to an end. Soon. Jin 
Kandos wanted me to help him with a rather complicated problem. It would have enabled him to make his clockwork soldiers at a fraction of the cost. Clever man. Not clever enough. What's wrong with people like that? A restless mind and an empty heart, perhaps. Jindosh would have snuffed me out as soon as he got bored. I appreciate what Emily did for me, freeing me from that place. I searched for you, Anton. I would have found you. I knew you'd try and make it. They kept me going after they gave me to Jindosh. Either way, you're back now. I'm glad. Anton, when I brought you back, you could barely speak. But it's been three days. They tortured him. His body is covered with bruises. Delilah has the throne, and my father is... missing. This is Anton Sokolov, the greatest mind in the Empire. No, Emily. Megan is right. I can make electricity move from one side of the room to the other. But Delilah is beyond my understanding. When I came to Sir Konos, I meant to leave everything behind. But when the assassination started, I couldn't ignore it. By the time Megan and I connected the murders to the Duke, it was too late. The Crown Killer came for me. It kept me alive from my knowledge, but I saw things. Jindosh often had a visitor, Brianna Ashworth. She's the curator of the Royal Conservatory. Yes, Ashworth is dangerous, as obsessed with the occult as Delilah. Apparently, she's working on a device called the Oraculum. There's more to her than either of you know. If Ashworth is one of Delilah's lieutenants, I need to eliminate her. Who knows what this device is capable of? Or what she's up to. There's a spark in your eyes. Something other than hate, which surprises me given all that's happened. We'll take the skiff. I don't want to bring the dreadful whale any closer than we have to. There is a small dock in Syria Gardens, close to the conservatory. That's as far as I can take you. Ready to go? Yes. Let's go. There will be a Grand Guard presence outside the Royal Conservatory. Inside, be prepared for anything. Ashworth runs with an eclectic crowd. They'll be the real danger. Someday I'd like to know more about how you met Ashworth. I know you would. Trust me, Ashworth is important to Delilah. Which brings up something else. You might be able to exploit the Abbey of the Everyman in removing Ashworth from play. Turns out the Vice Overseer in Karnaka has been watching Ashworth from a hidden outpost near the Royal Conservatory. Check it out first if you want more options. Remember, if she's still working with Delilah, Ashworth is a grave threat. Thanks, Megan. See you soon. has some connection to the occult in Karnaka. Something is happening that I don't understand. The Overseers are the forward face of the Abbey, but equally important are our sisters from the Oracular Order. To be direct, I suspect something is wrong within their sect. Subtle changes to the types of proclamations they've been making. Small but troubling deviations from tradition. 
But publicly saying anything along those lines will get me accused of heresy by my rivals within the Abbey. Is it possible that Ashworth has infiltrated the Oracular Order? So Vice Overseer Byrne thinks Ashworth is interfering with the Oracular Order. If true, it's another reason she has to be eliminated. Protecting the good people of the Empire against the likes of us. You know he'd be happier deep down if this ended with Brianna Ashman's head on a spike. Maybe yours as well. Conservatory. I wanted to visit this place with Wyman. After trying to make greyhounds for weeks, she gave up. You should have seen the twisted things she made. All snouts and teeth and tails. That's just the way it is, dear Pamela. Delilah wears the outsider's mark. In some, she can do floats down to us. It doesn't seem fair. Think about working your fingers raw, weaving nets, or raising cows to slaughter. Any of the gifts we receive is better than you What would you and father advise if you were both here? Sometimes I dream we're all together again. Brianna, what happened to Jindash? I'm told he's a gibbering idiot now. I don't know, Delilah. Forgive me. No, my dear. It's a law. But I doubt he had anything more to give us. Sokolov was taken away as well. Who would want that ancient fool? Never mind. How goes the communion? I am hungry to whisper into the ears of the oracular sisters. My influence grows. Last night, I walked through a dream with one of them. And we drank from a fountain in the town where she was born. Vice Overseer Burns' suspicions were right. No. He continued to tinker with the lenses. Thicker, thinner, more opaque. It was tiresome to watch. I still have the old lenses and cast-off parts piled in my workshop. But Jindash finished some time ago. The rest is up to me, learning to use the machine. The tricky thing 
touching the void through such a device. Blood and biscuits. I look forward to using it myself once you're ready. Will you visit soon? Perhaps. Dunwall Tower is mostly in hand. The High Overseer won't be a problem anymore. And there's the matter of my own project. I grow more excited with each brushstroke. When I come to Karnaka, we'll drink an ocean of good wine and stay tight as a boiled owl. I look forward to it. For now, I need your eyes on the Duke. At least until we have the sisters under control. There's no one else I trust. I'll reach out to you again on the morrow. Farewell. Goodbye, Delilah, my empress. Where there's no light. Feel my the endless womb and the cold, dead grave. Both the same. But Brianna's effigy has let her reach into the mind, into the heart. Wouldn't you be afraid she'd influence your dreams? Like she's going to do to the sisters of the Abbey? That's part of the thrill, sister. These odd lenses might be linked to what Ashworth is working on. If I can sabotage Ashworth's communion device, she'll be powerless. So this could be tampered with. Ashworth could be cut off from the void entirely. No more witchcraft. Now to activate it and sever Ashworth's connection to the void. Touch of the void. The Lila. It was everything I had. 
I'm no threat to you now. To anyone. As if you could ever hide your face from me, Emily. Little Black Sparrow, free from your cage at last. It's done. Brianna Ashworth is no longer a witch. You villain! You don't even know what you've done! A great bloom wilts and fades from the world. Delilah, I will take apart everything you've built until I have what's mine. Oh, Brianna. I don't believe we will speak again. The thought of seeing you reduced to such a pale, sad thing. It's too much to bear. I hate you for this, child. I'm not only going to restore things to the way they were, I'm going to make them better. After Delilah fell to the assassin Dowd, her magic was lost, and the coven scattered. I made a new life in Karnaka. Then I heard her whispering from the void, leading me to the Duke. Who heard those same whispers? Together we worked to bring Delilah back into the world, changing the Empire from the home of Aramis Stilton three years ago. Across the Isles, all of us who'd been with her at Brigmore and before, we felt the magic return. Others joined. New faces, new blood. Now, Delilah is immortal. Forever. She holds Dunwall, and we've turned to corrupting the oracular order. The Overseers take guidance from their prophetic sisters, and soon we'll influence their dreams and visions. So it's done. Ashworth won't be a problem anymore. Good. But Emily, there's something else. Back when I lived in Dunwall, I did things that I'm not proud of. Isn't that a requirement for citizenship? What I've got to say is not a joke. I knew Delilah and Ashworth. Bought into their bullshit. Which led me down a bad road. To be honest, before all this, I thought Delilah dead. I don't want to get into it right now. But I felt like you should know. There are things I regret. All right, Megan. Thank you for opening up. If only a little. I'm starting to feel like you deserve it. Are you ready to leave now? Yes. Let's go. Take me back to the Dreadful Whale. Another step toward the Duke of Sirkonos and Delilah. For several years, Delilah's been here, getting stronger, turning people against me. Why didn't I see it coming? What was I doing during that time? Pretending to listen at court, ruling through an army of bureaucrats, waiting for the next chance to get free of Dunwall Tower. Well, now I'm free. If only I could go back. Aramis Stilton was once an ally of the Duke. The owner of Karnaka's mines, Stilton lived in a fortified bunker at the heart of the Dust District. No one's seen him for years, since around the time Delilah started making her moves. But whether Stilton's alive or dead, his home holds the key to Delilah's immortality. out in this city, but I'll explain. I need to know why Delilah can't be killed. Everything we've learned implies that something strange happened at Aramis Stilton's home three years ago, but then he disappeared. 
Stilton lived in a bunker kept secure by a fancy lock made by Jindosh. Maybe inside you'll learn more about how to stop Delilah. But I have to get there first. Through a ruin created by the Duke, where my father grew up. Megan had an intriguing idea. Paolo is leader of the Howlers. He wants Vice Overseer Byrne killed. And of course, Byrne wants Paolo dead too. Both groups will attack you on sight, but walk in with the corpse of their chief enemy, and they'll treat you like family. You think they'll help me get into Aramis Stilton's home? I'm pretty sure that will work. Seeing this place and these people, I can feel my perspective changing. How will I be different after this? The Dust District. Hmm. I've read about the winds coming through the cleft in Shindere Peak. How the city uses it for windmills and mining operations. The Vice Overseer for Karnaka, Liam Byrne. Paolo's not that old. There's so much living written into the lines of his face. Aramis Stilton's home looks more like a bunker than a mansion. With Ashworth eliminated, that should hamper Delilah's plans. Delilah. My aunt, if that's really true. She has a twisted way of looking at the world. I don't know Duke Luca Abel, but Corvo served under Luca's father, and said Theodanus was a good man. Ready now? Ready. We'll take Megan's skiff closer. Who was the man I'm after? Aramis Stilton? An ally to the old Duke. Loyal and smart. Stilton helped build modern Karnaka with those silver mines. Started as a miner, and worked his way up until he was a prince of industry. But now, the new Duke drives the mine crews night and day. Dust falls non-stop onto the district, but was once prosperous. It's now in ruins. I suppose the Duke doesn't care, as long as he sips from silver cups. And what are the cups of Dunmore Tower made from, Empress? In any case, you'll have to pass through the Dust District to reach Stoughton's home. Maybe he's still in there, or maybe he's dead. you reach the Dust District. She'll tell you more. I'll wait here with this skiff and take you back to the Dreadful Whale after you finish. Stilton's home is just beyond here, but getting inside will take some effort. I've been doing reconnaissance, talking to people. The Overseers and the Howlers have divided up the district. Just ahead is neutral territory where no one will harass you. But further on, the Howlers and the Overseers both have boundaries set up. And beyond those points, they'll attack you on sight. Aramis Stilton is the real goal. Sokolov said you had an idea. Yes. I believe that if you take out Paolo or Vice Overseer Byrne, the other one will grant you safe passage and will help you get inside Stilton's home. Neutralize either one of them and bring him to the other. 
What else do you know that might help me? Vern is protected by the Overseers. Paolo has the Howlers. But I think he's also got some kind of black magic charm. They say he's got to die twice before the sun sets. Or he can't be killed. Good luck with that. This is the Duke of Sircon. Been told that people are complaining about dust from the mines falling on the city. Jemmy's sister says you can beat any lock in the city. I'm not sure why Stilton's house needed to be shut up tight like this. But what do you think? Can you crack it? Give me a minute. Durante knows how to get it here. Paolo had him feeding old Stilton or watching him. I was gonna pay him off for the secret, but Durante got beat down by the overseers and taken away. I don't even understand what this is. I don't see any seams. Jimmy's sister says it's a gimmick, like he wore it a real locksmith who made it. No, this was built by Kieran Jindosh. Scary smart. He was the one who made the clockwork soldiers for the Duke. So can you open it? Maybe just solve it? No, I can't do either. It's a lock designed by a man who creates machines that kill people. You can keep your money, I'm not touching it. Uh, never mind. Maybe another time. Or not. Let's go. made sure that the bosses never got too greedy. Stay on Everything worked. One side didn't win out over the other. And that's exactly why still didn't disappear. Abello, are you sure you know what you're doing? I studied field tactics <sighs> with Brother Cardoza in the peninsula. The pirate crews there resort to these same dirty tricks. Seems like a good way to take a dart to the belly. Well, the Howlers aren't known for their caution. But these aren't too hard to deal with. If you've got a steady hand, and you know what cables to cut, you've got to do it just right. stand accused of actions forbidden by the teachings of the Abbey of the Everyman. Given that each crime was witnessed or later verified by sworn and faithful overseers in good standing, no trial is required. For theft of food, for hindering a sworn overseer of the Abbey in his duties, death. What's going on here? Hmm. What? <clears throat> the Black Overseer hasn't shared his plans with me. He's upstairs now, so I assume we'll learn something. I'd wager it'll all be over soon. I'm surprised it's taken us this long to deal with a mob of ruffians. You know what the strictures say about wagering, brother? The Howlers are merciless, and Paolo carried the outsider's message. I wonder how the High Overseer is faring against Delilah back in Dunwall. Like a virulent swarm, devouring everything wherever they go, even Phil. I didn't see the one coming through the window. She was quick. 
the house. Brother, uh, what is happening? Are we not brothers? That is what I should have said. Now I feel remorse. It will bother me all the night. <gasps> Sisters of the oracular order have seen it, and I feel it in my bones. Hey you! This area is off limits. For the You're Abbey. so dead. I'll cure the world from the likes I'll perform of you. rites over your corpse, blasphemer. I smell heresy. You want? Let him go. Revenge. Overseer himself. Keep taking out overseers and we'll warm up to you just fine. Can't believe my eyes. Walking around with Burns' body. Bull. By the boy! Bye -bye, That's overseer. the vice overseer. How low winds then? Tough prick. I've been trying to bring Burn down for months. You did what others couldn't. And now you owe me, Paolo. We've been at war with the Abbey, not just over territory, but over the people of Karnaka as well. This is my home. And I'm gonna send Burn to Dunwall without his hands to explain things to the High Overseer and the Empress herself. Bet you didn't see this coming, Vice Overseer. No. What is it you want? I need to get inside Aramis Stilton's house. You're intriguing, and maybe more dangerous than most who darken my doorway. I advise you to remember it. Here's what you'll need to enter the house. If you do have a hand in what comes next in Karnaka, 
I really hope you acquit yourself better than the Duke has. You can count on that, friend. The Duke's a worthless buffoon. Get this guy out of here. The Duke, the Abbey, the Empress in Dunwall. None of them know what's best for Karnaka. But you do. Maybe you don't understand how things work down here. Things are changing. And if I have my way, I'll be guiding the course of the city for a long time to come. That might be less fun than you imagine. What do you know about Aramis Stilton's house? That's a bad place. You walk by some nights, you feel the hairs on your neck standing up. But they say Stilton was solid before whatever happened there. Good to the people working down in his mines. What happened inside the house? I just know the rumors. Batshit rich choffers had a party. Maybe something weirder. Before then, the Duke was just another aristocratic snot. After that night, he had a fire in him. A plan. This must be Paolo's place. In case you're wondering, Paolo's not one of those unhinged cultists who believe I will grant them favors if they leave a big enough offering or play just the right musical notes. He doesn't care a fig for me, but he put up this shrine because he found the hand of an old witch I knew once, and Paolo saw right away that it pays to have an edge. Sometimes, pieces of us linger long after we're gone. The Duke of Circonos inherited a vibrant city and wasted no time stripping it to the bone. What will he leave behind? And what about you? Who will you leave to pick up the pieces here in the Jewel of the South? Vera. Hmm. I knew I was right about you. Mindy ain't no fool. I can smell a winner. They say hard days make strange friends. If we had more time, i put my tattoo and needles on your ass. Leave you with some wicked ink. I've been marked once, and that was enough. Next time, maybe. <laughs> you helped me with the overseers. We could use somebody like you. worked. The information was correct. Time is an odd thing. Growing up, I was excited about what the years might hold. About the places I'd visit. I recall childhood moments with my mother on her throne and my father a figure of mystery. I remember the rat plague, mother's passing and all that happened at the Hound Pits pub. Now this. I just want to put an end to Delilah's reign and get my father back. This house holds her secrets. Delilah pulled herself up from tragedy, grabbing the Empire and changing it to her liking. With Duke Luca Abel, 
She transformed a coddled dilettante into a schemer who helped her take my throne. She's made herself immortal, and even my father's sword couldn't end her life. I'm going to undo all she's done. And next time, I'll hold on to the things I cherish. Just a bit tighter. That's strange. I feel drained by this place. Stilton sealed off from the rest of the district. I know you think I don't belong here. Insufferable elite. Could that be Stilton? Out like the wind. I think they're afraid. I dreamed the Duke and I were hunting, but the deer had faces. You Aramis Stilton, warm the quilts, will you? I feel Three years ago, something inside Aramis Stilton snapped like a cheap lock. A part of him and a part of this house never left that evening. The Duke's inner circle are still gathered here, setting their grand plan into motion. Delilah's plan. And a part of Aramis Stilton is always here, still breaking. The Void is not exactly a place, and it's much older and stranger than you could ever know. It watches you from within, and at the heart of Stilton's house, the Void is leaking through a pinprick left behind by Delilah's little trick. Even magic is perverted here, and things don't work like they should. Take this. Imagine it's a kind of timepiece. Go and watch the Duke and Delilah. See for yourself what they did. Like it's going to be cold. By the void. The Duke is demanding refreshments, and I can't get in without the combination. There's a note on the door, Captain Winterbottom. What? Hmm. He's out back. I need the code to the study. It's in his notebook, ma'am. But he keeps it with him. Thank you, Corporal. Speaking bluntly, I really don't like Stilton's guests. Earlier, I got my ass chewed out by the Royal Curator. What's her name? You're talking about Brianna Ashworth, I believe. Yes, that's her. She's an odd one. Anyway, keep up the good work. Thank you, Captain. The only way out of here is through the present, using this timepiece. I dragged my heels to avoid lessons as a girl. Now it sounds like such a welcome diversion. There are whales down in the mines! I hear them howling to one another. Ruling beasts. Stilton's home was quite nice before whatever happened. Oh, did I get so old? At least I'm looking in the good part of town now. Honestly, why does Stilton even bother trying to impress people like the Duke and that curator? I knew it. Hmm, better than that. So Out of 
Whatever you need, I can't help you. One day, young Luca will go too far. May I live to see that day. Theo, forgive me. What would you think of all this, Theo? Your son is a disaster. But what can I do except serve him the best I can? The Duke trusts me, I can finally rest easy. After tonight, it will all go well. The Grand Guard was protecting Stilton back then. Pressured me into it. I never would have agreed to this ritual or whatever it is. Sometimes I wonder. Is Luca Bell truly his father's son? Part of Stilton's combination is missing. Stilton, you're a fool! Look what you've got! Stilton's combination.
I lost her. seem to be the worst here. The two times are overlapping now, somehow. Vice Overseer Burn, if only you could see this, you'd have nightmares. Let's get this over with. What we're about to attempt has never been done. It's beyond my understanding, and certainly beyond yours. If anyone has any doubts, Set them aside now. This defies rational understanding. It's the frayed edge when natural philosophy crosses over into something else. Yes, I can feel it. We risk madness. The more I hear, the more I think this is ill-advised. Who wants to speak with the dead? If this Delilah really was killed or banished from the world, what if she's lost her mind? Delilah's stronger than before. The Duke and I have heard her voice whispering to us. And now it's time. So take your positions. Focus on the void behind the door. You can feel her power, can't you? By the stars! This is more exciting than any orgy I've ever attended. Wait! Wait! We can't really... Idiot! Here, returned from the cold, from forever. How curious. It seems to have worked. My spirit is safe now, inside this thing. Luca, you must lock it away. I can still see the insides. One has become a stone, the other reforged and marked by the one whose eyes are black. Poor Aramis. I feel obliged to take care of him out of loyalty to my father. Wait. You are hidden, but I know who you are. I know when you are. You've come to watch me return. And someday, I'll come for you. The void beyond the world is strange. I won't ever understand all I've seen. Such a shame, Aramis Stilton. You could have done so much. Who are you to carry yourself so high and mighty? You stink of the void. I've got to get ready. Wash my face and comb my hair. Megan is meeting me tonight. I need to get out of here. Back to the dreadful whale. Delilah's secret. 
At the end of her days, she drifted to the void and should have been lost forever. But her will and cunning are second to none. She found this place. The island in the void where I became what I am. It changed her. And she discovered a way to draw from it. Tapping into the power here. Delilah is... a part of me now. And I don't like it. You have to give Delilah credit. She tore out a piece of herself and hid it away. Inside a thing made of bones. She's made herself immortal. If you want to kill Delilah, you're going to have to find her spirit and give it back to her. Reaching it won't be easy, but what comes after that might be the hardest thing you will ever have to do. The world contains more mysteries than I imagined. And you're back. That was quick. So is Stilton. Maybe I don't even want to know. Are you ready to leave? <clears throat> the dust is wreaking havoc on my throat. Yes. I paid a visit to Vice Overseer Byrne, and I've been to Stilton's house. We can go. Duke Luca Abel tore down the original palace in Karnaka, his birthplace in order to build a lavish structure that cost enough to feed everyone in Circonos for years. It's said to be a sprawling estate to humble all others, a monument to his ego and sense of princely entitlement. But whatever the Duke has done to his nation happened while I was Empress. In Dunwall, we were content to look the other way as long as the silver kept flowing. I've got to get inside the Grand Palace, deal with the Duke, and find a way to steal Delilah's soul. You should be at peace. I have stayed too long. Find a lion's spirit. Trap her with this cage of dead flesh. Set me free. I don't understand. You will very soon. Burn wanted to be High Overseer. Are you ready for this? I've been inside a dozen castles and a hundred mansions, and they're the same everywhere. The Duke's palace can't be anything worse than Lady Brisby's social afternoons. Taking down Duke Abel is only part of the puzzle. You've also got to find whatever it is he's keeping for Delilah. You were cryptic about what you gleaned from visiting the Dust District, which is fine. The world is better with a hint of mystery. But once you're inside the Grand Palace, whatever you do could affect things in Karnaka for years to come. Remember that. I'll see what I can do. I know things in Karnaka are fragile, and I've got a lot to think about after all this is done. I hope I've been of some help to you. It's good to feel useful. Here, near the end of my time. Ready to visit the Duke? Let's get underway. At the palace, the Duke has a look-alike body double, meant to confuse assassins. A friend of mine washes the linens and said the double is a smoker, if that helps. Maybe you can talk to him. She says he's a nice guy. What a shitty job, pretending to be a tyrant like Duke Luca Abel. It's remarkable that people tolerate the Duke. He's got an army, control of the mines, and he's had your support from the capital. At the Duke's parties, people carve up the country while eating boiled crab. There were parties like that in Dunwall, full of toadies sucking up to me, 
stabbing each other in the back. Poor Empress. I could see those party lights from the roof of the abandoned butcher shop where I slept. In the flooded district. I know you grew up hard, Megan. I used to wander Dunwall with my face hidden. But when I got tired of it, I could always go back to the tower. Karnaka's given me perspective. Good. After you've eliminated the Duke, find what he's holding for Delilah and take it. When you're finished, I'll pick you up in the skiff. here any more than I do, do you? You're a good one. You know, there's a place near here, in some rocks behind a fountain. People have always left offerings there. That's where I started having those odd dreams. I don't go there anymore, but you might want to check it out. On the bright side. The pay is better here than anywhere else, and we get to do the job how we see fit. Nobody's pestering us with forms and procedures anymore. We collect the fees we want and give out the beatings when they're needed. 
I just don't want my kids growing up here. It's too dangerous. Then reapply next month. The command staff changes constantly. New officers, new rules. And spread a few coins here and there among the officers. Hmm. Just like the Duke. I can't tell him apart. There are subtle differences. The palace. Maybe I can find another way to neutralize the Duke. You sure he always keeps the key with him? I'm sure. We'll do it tomorrow night when there's only one squad scheduled for patrol. Just be ready. worse the duke or his body double one's half likely to have you flogged for looking at him wrong the other might just bore you to death something else. See if he wakes up when you hit him in the leg. Sure, my man. Head of yours is worth its weight in silver. Are you a cur 
courier. Do you have a message for your duke? No offer to bow or kiss my hand. I could say the same. A mystery. Let's have it then. Who are you and what do you want? Listen, I think you're the Duke's body double. You can't have any love for the man. I'm here to end his rule, and I have an idea you should hear. All right, you've figured it out. But if you're not here to assassinate the Duke, what do you want? It occurs to me that you might make a more agreeable Duke than Luca Abel. If I wanted to depose him without having to slit his throat, do you think you could convince people that you're the Duke? That's bold, I have to admit it's crossed my mind. If people believed that I was actually Duke Abel, and that he was the political decoy, we could have him committed for lunacy. We could convince everyone that the Doubles finally lost his mind, and believes he's the Duke. I've spent years perfecting my performance. But there's a catch. He's got a medallion that I need. Even if I sound convincing, which should be the easy part, his Grand Guard officers will ask to see the medallion as proof. Luca never puts it aside. All right. It shouldn't take me long. Once it's done, I'll be leaving the city. Soon after, I'll send instructions from Dunwall, and I'll expect a great deal of flexibility and cooperation on your part. There's still time to pull Sir Konos back from the edge of the cliff. We can undo the damage Duke Abel has inflicted. I'd like that. But I'll guide Sir Konos in the ways I see fit for the people here, not as the hand-chosen puppet of your empire. If you agree with that, just render the Duke unconscious and bring him to his chambers. I'll handle the rest. Wanton flesh. And such terrible wines. At least you knew better than to serve Tyrion with hangfish. Joke if you want to. Our new duke spends more in one month than his father spent in a year. Oh, fear Dana Sabelle was tied with the coin. Why? I don't want to die. When the done, we'll have it back to people and tribute. This is the Sertonian age, my friend. The age of Luca Abel. Enjoy it. about my new boots. Protect me! Protect me with your life!
This must be the key to the Duke's vault. Here's Duke Luca. Wait, I'll have a look over there. That's it then. Now it's up to me. I'll take the medallion and call them. I'll be watching. Break a leg. <laughs> Don't worry. I've spent years mimicking this asshole. Captain Almeida! Come at once to my chambers. There's a problem. Quick, hide up there. Your evidence, are you all right? Yes, yes, Captain. Please arrest this clown. Seems that he took his role a little too seriously. Get your hands off me. He served me well for years. We'll never find anyone else who so bears my resemblance. Take him away, Captain. But be gentle. I think I understand, Your Eminence. We'll handle it. What? This is outrageous. I'll have you all skinned alive and set in a salt bath. If only there were something we could do for him. I suppose all those years pretending it was me that eventually took its toll. No! Stop! I am the Duke of Sacronis! You can't do this! I'm sure whoever takes over for Dr. Hypatia at Atomire will know what to do with the poor man. trying to get my head around this. It's incredible. Okay, the machine has detected some. It seems the Duke has some of the Jindosh Clockwork soldiers. New machines and new ideas. We've been playing every day for weeks now. All of this to entertain a statue? Combat Protocol 6. Someone there? Unauthorized presence. I, I don't want to die! Hold on! Switching to alternative tactical on? mode. That, that's not right! That's not natural! This blaze is summoning to the machine. Why do I have goosebumps all of a sudden? She's still alive. I need to fix that. It's probably too late now. In major your bed and you'll have to lie. I'm always in charge of them. Someone! They don't get a seat twice. That's what seven is for. You're a killjoy. People get what they deserve in this life. Convinced I'll go to my oldest age pissing in golden pots. Something's got to give. Keep your eyes peeled! Nothing! Shit. Opportunity to back charge second coil. Should have listened to mom and become a hairdresser. Oh, what was that chill? Mm. Okay, trigger exploration grid. Stay short. Be on your guard, right, boys?
let's see what Duke of Bell keeps hidden away in here. This must be the Duke's vault. This is the thing Ashworth made to hold Delilah's spirit. This, this is, is it. it. You, you must release me from this dead vessel. Only then will you be able, able to trap the spirit. spirit. I don't know how I can do this. You were all I ever wanted. I stayed as long as I could, trying to guide you. The world is better for your influence. Be at peace, Mother. I will honor you. Always. Oh. I love you. And this is the, the final fall I carry into the past. So it's done. Now to take the last step. To my half sister, only her flesh remains. Maybe the Lila spirit was holding it together. Is that it? The fall of Karnaka? From now on, the Duke will be guided by better stars. Back to the dreadful whale, then, and on toward Dunwall. Yes, at long last. To take back the throne, and find a way to save my father. Ready, then? Let's set out. All right. As you want. I grew up with this broken skyline. The muted colors and the way the light falls. It's done well, but it's not. Have I changed, or does everything just look different when you're not wearing a crown? Whatever grand scheme you've got underway now, Delilah, you were smart when you stole this place from me. You knew who among my people to corrupt, and you took away my strongest ally, my father. But you didn't know me. You only saw a sheltered princess. You never thought I'd fight back. You don't know me, Delilah. But you will. Delilah's accomplished, coming from such a background, taking the throne. You know where to go to find Delilah, but how will you handle her? It's my hope that you have some sort of plan. It could be tricky. She might not give me any choice but to fight, and Delilah deserves whatever she gets. At my age, I've come to distrust words like deserve. 
As I told you, I knew her long ago. Badly wounded, deep at her center, but cunning, and looking for a way to pull herself up. Perhaps more than anything, Delilah had a talent for imagining the world as a better place. If only that could have been channeled towards something less twisted. It's probably too late to dwell on regrets. Yes, you're right. In any case, please watch yourself. I've come to care a great deal about you. Goodbye, Anton. the Duke's brother so long ago, would any of this have happened? Hey, there you are. I wanted a chance to talk. Megan. People have called me that for a long time, but it's a lie. My name is Billy Lurk. Everyone's full of secrets. Why do I feel like you've got more to say? Yeah. I can't believe I'm telling you this. But you deserve the truth. I'll just say it. Fifteen years ago, I ran with a mercenary gang. We got paid to kill people. Some who deserved it, some who didn't. The boss pulled me up from the Dunwall slums when I had nothing and had run out of rope. I... This is hard to admit. Whatever it is, spit it out. Our leader was the assassin Dow. And I was part of the crew. Our last big job together. We were paid to. You helped Dowd kill my mother? Yes. I don't know what else to say. I've lived a very long time wishing I could take that day back. But I can't. I can't ever forgive you for what you did. But suffering has a way of twisting people. You're a different woman today than you were then. Yeah. We've all been hurt. But not all of us did what I did. Or became what Delilah became. I know you'll never get over it. But neither will I. I hope not. Goodbye, Billy. I'm taking the skiff, and I'll go alone from here. If old Samuel could see me now. will be made mortal again. You, you let, let your, your mother slip, slip into oblivion. Do you know where my mother's resting? In, in a child's coffin. Her, her skin legs tucked beneath her, her because I couldn't afford proper burial, while my, while my father rests in the imperial, imperial crypt. You're lying. You still can't, can't accept it, little girl. Your, your father was born a nobody. I inhabit your mother's heart, and, and my body walks the halls of your crumbling palace, and, and sleeps between your sheets. If I learned anything in Karnaka, it's that birth shouldn't give anyone the right to rule. You earn it every day by serving the people who need you. Now I'm coming to end your tyranny, Delilah. Shit fell apart. 
Dunwall Tower, where I was born, where I grew up. Uh, uh. I don't have much time left, stranger. I saw the High Overseer fall. All is lost. Leave this place. The Abbey assaulted the tower? Somehow we were overcome. Not just Delilah's sorcerers and their gravehounds, but mechanical men. Automated soldiers. And the ancient music was useless against them. Rest now. But know that I'm going to end Delilah's reign. I swear it. At death's door, I smell the corruption of the void upon you. A heretic against a heretic. Laughable. The world is doomed. Placenta, grind and wash rich magenta. Two hands sift and two hands blend. Make the pigment block the wind. Fingers stain blue and brush. 
Restore power to the elevator. I'll have to reach the security room. The Lala says it's going to change everything. The world and all the spheres beyond. Go sneak a peek of it, if you dare. So here we are, where my dear, lying half-sister Jessamine and I played as children. Where your mother bedded your father, then gave birth to you. Where she was murdered by Dowd and his black-hearted crew. The place that ruined both our lives. You have a twisted view of the world, and I have no idea whether you're telling the truth or not. But it doesn't matter. You, of all people, would understand. Those nights as a girl in the Hound Pits pub? Didn't you dream of getting this crown back? It was stolen from me first. Even before you came into the world. There's suffering across the face of the world, but I was born under rare stars. I know I'm far luckier than most, Delilah. None of that excuses the destruction in your wake. This opportunity to back charge second coil. grown so wise, young niece. But remember, you are a woman with power. Someone will always try to shut you up or burn you to cinders. You know, 
Remove this playback after the final field test. Runs through its veins, rendered from the fat of leviathans from the deep icy waters. It has nothing to do with our mistress's magic. Not much. Delilah could, with Brianna's help. She was always oh so clever with the bones of things. Yes, but Brianna. from the great love
spirit. Follow me, dear Emily, and see how I will reshape all things. she dreams about. Too much suffering to live, Delilah. Father? Explain it all. And so the Duke fell, and in his place rose up a man of the people. Paolo had come into the world with nothing, and knew the lives of the least privileged. Sometimes 
sometimes power shouts, and sometimes it whispers. In Dunwall, with the death of Delilah Copperspoon, her coven lost its power, and their short-lived coup came to an end. The rightful empress returned to the throne and began extinguishing the fires across her city. So it was that Emily the Just, Emily the Clever, would fulfill her destiny, ruling for decades over a mended empire with Corvo Atano at her side. In his day, Anton Sokolov fired the engines of industry, hurtling the empire into a more sophisticated age. He dallied with nobles, wayward artists, and great inventors alike, drinking in all that life could offer. Leaving Dunwall for the last time, he headed to the cold north, contented at last, on a final voyage to take him home. There are things that never change, no matter how hard you try. Questions you must answer. As Megan Foster faded from the world, Billy Lurk stepped from her shadow, setting out to discover her truest self, and seeking the closest thing she'd ever known to family. Sweetest grapes will slip on to a whaler 